So anyway, uh, we're going to the to the next thing with uh, Tony. Uh, yes. So uh, Gwen Ver, I mean uh, Cheetah Rivera, cannot be here tonight. She sends her love to everybody, but she's moving, as you all probably know. So she can't be here. So the next best thing, of course, is Tony Stevens. <laughs> 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 I'm a sad replacement for Cheetah Rivera. This is my desperate. Um, I was Fosse's assistant on Chicago, and um, a lot of that was due to Gwen's um, uh, urging because we had done some um, Ed Sullivan shows together and some specials. And I remember her saying that she told him that I was a snappy dresser. <laughs> I'm like, you told Balfonsi I was a snazzy dresser? I mean, it, it was just kind of weird. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, for those who didn't see, I have one story. For those who didn't see the original Chicago, the stage was raked and it came out over the orchestra pit and it came to a point, right? Uh, and um, so in My Own Best Friend, which was a takeoff on the overdramatic kind of um, Edith Piaf uh, ballad, <clears throat> in the middle of it, Cheetah and Gwen sat back to back and had these huge, long monologues about how they ended up this way. You know, I was bored, I was an orphan, I did this, I did that. Did... Well, anyway, they were just like inordinately long. <laughs> and um, so we're out uh, watching the show one day and um, we, we are, actually it was one of the first weeks uh, of the previews. And they get to that part, and I have to do it for you. Um, so they're sitting like this, and they're saying, and they start talking, and they start going like this. And they go, sorry. And, and Bob says, what the hell are they doing? And I said, I don't know it. <gasps> and I went, wait a minute, I know what they've done. They wrote their monologues in the glow tape. <laughs> and they were both, this is Cheetah Rivera and Rivera, crawling up the stage reading. So the next day, they were cut. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Tony, Tony, stay up here. And talk about the now we have a clip. So we're telling you this, this is the clip of Chicago with Gwen Verdon and Cheetah Rivera. We were getting notes one day 
and Bob, Gwen, and Cheetah were sitting on the stage. We were all sitting on the stage, and Bob gave the group notes, and then he gave each of us our notes, and then he said, oh, uh, I have quite a few notes for you girls. Uh, do you mind? She's, and uh, they go, oh, no, 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 just give us our notes in front of every end. We don't care. <laughs> so there Gwen Verdon and Cheetah Rivera sitting on stage, and Bob Fosse is saying, now, I realize that you're both very big stars, but in this number, girls, it would be very nice if you could dance together like chorus girls. And Miss Verdun, would you please, you need to shake your shoulders. You may have noticed they did a lot of this shoulder shaking. And Gwen looks at him and she says, oh, Bobby, you know I can't shake my shoulders. <laughs> Because I collated them every performance <laughs> to each performer and the chorus and the musicians. Me and Kathy Doby, every show sat and typed notes for at least an hour and a half because we had to collate everybody's notes. It was like he was a taskmaster, as we said. What, what is the story about? Uh, it's in the twenties, but he didn't. He he had one. Um, he told me at the beginning. He said. Listen, don't let me do anything I've done before, and I want to do a 20 show without a Charleston step. You know, and we basically did. I mean, there was a little of this, which was kind of Charleston, but we never did the Charleston, ever. Yeah. Well, the purpose of having this evening was to demonstrate, because we can talk all evening long, but it's watching this incredible talent and see what it was that made her the star that she was. And we didn't show a lot of her acting because we just basically didn't have the time. Can I say one thing about her acting? That was the best school I ever went to about, you know, it was better than any acting class. Gwen started from zero and every day would add something and add something and add some. And I don't know if you know the show, but the, I love you, honey, I love you. <laughs> it's all Gwen Verdon. And the first day she did that, we had to take 10 because everybody was on the floor, could not stop laughing. And you see Gwen Verdon go, I love you, honey, I love you. And, and like, what, where'd that come from? <laughs> but she was brilliant that way. Every day was a little bit more. Excellent, incredible. But because tonight is about dance, this is why we chose the things that we did. And we hope that you appreciate it and, and love what we put together for you. There's a very beautiful young lady that's really hot right now, and I worked with her in Oklahoma, and she was in Fosse, so she's going to give us a couple stories about her and Gwen. Rochelle Rack. Hi. Wow, this is heavy. Oh, thank you. Hi, my name is Rochelle Rack. I know. Subtle. I never wore the Fosse black. When I met Gwen Verdon, um, I joined the company of Fosse in Toronto. I had never done a workshop. I never learned a back bump. I didn't know what soft boiled eggs, anything. I knew nothing. And I was there, and I showed up. I had big hair, a tan, and then the leopard leotard. Kind of like I am now. I haven't changed much. Um, and she, I'm sure, was looking at me like, who the hell is this girl, and where did she come from? Um, I was, they were staging the show rapid, at a rapid speed, and I was dancing on the side because I had sent for now black tights, black shoes, a black, anything I could get my hands on, I was buying. And um, I stood on the side and I watched these numbers be put together, and I kept thinking, how the hell did I get here? What am I doing here, and how am I ever going to catch up? So they staged the show, and I ended up in Bye Bye Blackbird, I was in Big Spender, and I was in Sing Sing Sing. Now the show was three and a half hours long. Now, I was wondering, hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. You know, are they gonna keep me? I was very stressful. And um, in the end, Liz Parkinson was in so many numbers that we were in Boston, and she was in every featured number, one right after the other, and she needed a break. She needed a breather. So they, they had me, Gwen had me audition to be in the ensemble of the Frug. The ensemble, sweetie. <laughs> yes. So I auditioned for Gwen in Boston to do the, that, the walk. But I still could do it. And so I was hired. I was in the cast, I was hired, and I was in the Frug. So I was in four numbers in three and a half hours. Now as time went on, Gwen, for some reason, saw something in me. 
And um, I feel most proud in 23 years I've been a dancer um, on Broadway. I've been a dancer in many, many different um, shows. I am most proud to say that I am, I consider myself a Fosse dancer. Um, after many, many um, rehearsals and seeing this girl on the side, you know, still with the big hair and black, practicing, she um, allowed me to do what they did was like an understudy day. And uh, they said, anyone that kind of knows anything, let's see what you know. Well, I knew one number, one number that I had learned, Brad Musgrove taught me, and it was called I Gotcha. And uh, I did the number in this understudy rehearsal. It was very different, different than what we had, we had seen and what I had learned. And um, something about it she liked. Now, I became the understudy for Shannon Lewis, and I did I Gotcha. And that was the first time I'm going on at the Broadhurst Theater, and Gwen comes in. And now you have to know she only called me my last name, Rack. <laughs> and she would say, Rack. Did you get the notes for Gotcha? And I am scared shitless. And I said, no, uh, no one, I didn't get the notes for Gotcha. And she is 70 years old, she's on the Broadhurst Theater, and she goes, I want you to do a big hip roll and then slap the floor. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, all right, I'm gonna do a big hip roll and slap the damn floor. So I'm off, I'm a nervous wreck. I'm about to do I Gotcha for the first time in the Broadhurst Theater, and Gwen Burden is sitting like, at the sound booth. So I do the number, and I get through it, and I slap the damn floor, and I throw my hair, and I had the best time. And um, afterwards, the dance captain comes up to me, and he says, Rochelle, would you like to get your notes from Gwen? And I, of course, am like, absolutely. And he said, well, first of all, I have to tell you, she was sitting at the sound booth, and she was bouncing in her chair, and she looked to me, and she went, she's great. And she turned back, and she went, 100% trash. She, I don't know what she was thinking. Um, so that night, the sound, the sound department, everybody heard, you know, Gwen Burns that she's great, 100% trash. So I come in the next day, and there are T-shirts made. They were made. She's great, 100% trash, Gwen Burns. And from that, from that moment on, <laughs> I've lived up to it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It changed my life. Nicole, your mother, she changed my life. I am so grateful to be a Fosse dancer, to have done I Got You, Mine Hair, to have that legacy. I hope to pass on about telling the story. Gwen, everything I saw tonight is from her heart. It's from a sense of humor. It's from a place that's real. And the dance comes to life because she's coming from a place that um, uh, I hope that she passed on to me and I hope to pass on to others. Thank you so much for having me, and I'm honored to be, to be here.